This is the ship that creates artificial rain through cloud seeding in the United Arab Emirates. Its registration number is N6151A and it is the ship of a private company of America. After looking at the flight data records, I came to know that the ship with the same registration number is in Dubai. Just one day before the flood, takeoff took place from Zayed International Airport in Abu Dhabi at 4 p.m. on 15th April 2024. Looking at the satellite view records, it was found that on this very day and at this time there were a lot of clouds over the United Arab Emirates which were Barsana was probably the responsibility of this plane. Where did this plane go after takeoff and what did it do? Let's talk about it later in the video. It is generally thought that the climate of UAE is very dry and there is very little rain there, but this time, not in a few days but in a few hours, as much rain fell as Dubai sees in the whole year. Due to the excellent administration system of Dubai, it is also called Mini Europe. But this time in Mini Europe, millions of vehicles, homes, shops and offices are goes underwater for five days, draining the water remained a headache for the Dubai government. Was this the result of cloud seeding in Dubai, or did their sewerage system fail? And if yes, how? On April 14, 2024, a series of rains from the Gulf of Oman hit Oman first with a strong storm and torrential rains. Water gets accumulated on the roads and 20 people lose their lives. Within no time, this trend entered UAE by 16th of April. Initially, it was considered as a normal rain, which was up to 20 millimeters, but soon the rain increased. And in just a few hours, it increased from 20 mm to 142 mm, which is around 5 inch. Due to the water on the busy roads of Dubai, causing traffic here, people are confined to their homes, while in some areas information has been received that water reached a waist-deep level inside the houses. It can be seen in many videos that valuables things in people's homes have been destroyed due to water. Due to closer of many shops, people have also lost the means to eat and drink, and people become distressed due to hunger but the rain shows no signs of stopping. Even at Dubai International Airport, where thousands of flights normally land in a day, there is knee-deep water standing on the runway. On the bias flight radar, this airport started presenting such a scene that the planes that were at the airport remained standing there while all the incoming flights started being diverted. The journey of the passengers present at the airport started turning into days instead of hours. What appears to be a minor rain gradually brings the world's most developed city to a complete jam, and schools, offices are closed for unital further confirmation. The owner of a famous insurance company in Dubai says that in just one week, we lose lots of money because of insurance claims over vehicle, which is 400 percentage higher than regular time. Similarly, insurance claims worth millions, which have been voided by restaurants and shops, which is too much for us. Metrology authorities say that since 1949, recording of weather data was started, and this was the highest rainfall in UAE in 75 years from 1949 till now. But the real question which is present in everyone's mind is what happened that the driest area of the world got engulfed by such heavy rains. After the devastation caused by the rains, a rumor started spreading on social media that this rain is the result of cloud seeding in Dubai. Is this rumour really true? 15th of April 2024, around 4pm from Abu Dhabi Airport N61551. The plane with registration number took off, which has been seen in UAE cloud seeding activity before. Its route can be seen that first it went straight over the mountainous area on the east coast of the United Arab Emirates and circled there. Then it made similar rounds again at two different locations in the east of Sharjah, and then finally, after doing a round over Labab in the east of Dubai, it landed back at Abu Dhabi airport at around 5.30 p.m. But the deputy director of the National Center for Metrology of United Arab Emirates says that the cloud seeding ship had definitely taken off that day, but it had not done any seeding activity. Cloud seeding was done for the first time in Dubai in 1990 due to water shortage. The basic rule of this is that whenever such clouds are seen which are just forming, then particles are sprayed on them through the plane, 
which are mostly salt or silver iodide. When this salt comes in contact with the moisture present in the clouds, so the vapors first convert into ice crystals and then due to being heavy, they start raining. As the temperature changes as they come down, it turns into ice. If the United Arab Emirates does not do cloud seeding, then the same clouds will naturally go somewhere else and rain. But were the rains and floods that caused devastation in Dubai and Oman the result of cloud seeding or not? Because people said that due to the storm that was already coming, cloud seeding played the role of a catalyst, and then the matter went out of Dubai's hands. But from my investigation it appears that so much rain cannot be the result of cloud seeding, because the aircraft we tracked was hovering only over UAE and not over Oman, whereas if seen in the satellite view, the clouds themselves were coming from Oman. Experts also have a similar opinion. Weather experts say that cloud seeding definitely causes rain, but not so much rain that it creates a flood. Marine says that cloud seeding does not create rain, rather the rain is already present in the air, it is just rained, that is why clouds are created. Holding seeding responsible for this flood is not right under any circumstances. Frederick Otto, a famous climate expert from the Imperial College of London, says that these rains are the result of human climate change. That is, due to our mistakes, the climate around the world is changing. This includes the destruction of our agricultural processes, industrial processes and forests. The entire world is suffering from climate change, and if its solution is not found, the entire world may have to suffer losses due to extreme climatic changes in the coming few years. It is also said that if such rains had happened in a country where it rains regularly, then perhaps there would not have been as much damage as has happened in the United Arab Emirates and Oman. The reason for this is that generally there is not much rain in UAE, and Oman, proper drainage system is non-existent there, that's why this city is not ready to face flood-like situations. The recent flood shows that urban engineering has failed the test of climate change. First of all, we should not forget that Dubai was built on sand. It absorbs water easily, but if we cover this sand with concrete then obviously its ability to absorb water will reduce, and something similar has happened with Dubai also. Real estate developers have changed the natural terrain of Dubai, and now the land here absorbs very little water, which is why after every few years the sewerage system here need to increase. The second issue is that the population of Dubai is increasing day by day, and with the population the waste is also increasing. We do not see garbage on the streets of Dubai, but this garbage has to go somewhere. The sewerage system is not big enough to drain 142 mm of rainwater suddenly, so when the water started standing, it carried away the waste along with it, and easily blocked the small sewerage system and made the matter worse. Usually when such situations arise, the blocked sewerage line identification is so hard. This type of incident also seen in Amani developed cities. New York City also had a similar situation. Water stood in schools, roads and houses, sewerage lines which were already in water due to waste. It sounds a bit strange, but in Dubai, sewerage connections have still not been given to many areas, even to the world's tallest skyscraper, Burj Khalifa. Not only this, all the waste of Burj Khalifa is stored in a septic tank and it is emptied on daily basis with the help of dumpers. Luckily, during the reign of 16th of April, Dubai had resources and technology as well as better management. That is why with the help of tankers and machinery, water was removed from most of the locations and the system was restored. But this was not the last rain. Such rains can happen again because the threat of climate change is always looming. That is why Dubai Dubai's ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has approved 80 billion rupees for additional sewerage lines in Dubai. That is, this is the same amount with which 15 Burj Khalifas can be rebuilt. Hopefully you guys like this video. Please will like and share a lot. Thank you very much for your loving comments.